now start in admin categories from admin admin categories so we have baseline type and this come default with the program when we install it we have expenses categories we can add from here add we can add uh, for example food and drinks so we can add what we want also we can delete shift up shift down and to understand where we can use it close we go to activities if we go to expenses expenses and make add new expenses like food from here expenses category we can see what we add here so we can use it in activities in our projects in WPS and also if we add here a new activity that's what we say wizard wizard it help us to enter data next 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 okay finish here we find original duration zero because from admin admin preference here in general we put it zero so if we change it like five close add next 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 finish it will be five to understand what is this data and where we can use it we back to home and here we be back to zero close and admin admin categories okay also project here we can add what we want about document categories like checklist we can add the transmetal transmetal we can add like drawings we can make shop drawings construction drawings so we add what we want also document status approved complete in progress not started on hold also here we can add approved as noted also overhead codes risks risks type and notebook type topics and unit of measure the unit of measure this is important we must add units that we can use it in our resources so we add we can add square meter and here unit name square also we can add cube meter and here we put the name cubic meter and now we close this close this and we start in admin admin currencies here to add our currencies if you use USD or euro or what you if not here we can add what we want add we can change this and we can add what we want from here the ID and here we put the name and here the symbol and here rate exchange rate exchange rate for USD so we here we can find it exchange rate one so exchange rate for USD and here from general this is the ID currency name and the symbol and exchange rate and here decimal symbol number of decimal slices this is important this is for positive currency format and this is for negative so we put it this one it's easy to understand it 
and we close